Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa. I am the owner and artist here at the Top Drawer RVA located in Richmond, Virginia. I picked up this really cute little drop leaf table at the local Goodwill. It was in great shape, it just had a really scratched up top. I knew that I could do something fabulous with this. Even the hardware was super cute on this piece. So let's get ready and flip this table. Today's project is going to be based off the Tuscan Olive Paper from the Bells and Whistles line at Dixie Bell. I start every project that I complete with a little bit of white lightning. After a great clean and a rinse, I came in with my boss as a primer. Boss will stop any bleed through from happening on this piece. Since I plan to decoupage the top, I'll do one light even coat of buttercream on the surface. There's a couple different ways to do decoupage or decoupage, however you want to say it. I always get roasted in the comments, but I'm Canadian, so decoupage it is. But you can actually use any clear coats for this project. You can use your matte, satin, your flat, even your gator hide. My go-to is the satin clear coat. It's a water-based poly from Dixie Bell. So usually when I start a project with decoupage, I entirely clear coat the area that I'm going to be working on and I use a little bit more clear coat than I need to. I like to liberally apply it so that if I lay down my paper and I make a mistake in placement, I can easily pick it back up to move it around. This is a newer paper from the Bells and Whistles line called Tuscan Olive. It's going to fit perfectly on the top of this table. It's actually almost the exact same size. So once you have that clear coat on top, you can grab your paper and lay it down for placement. Most decoupage papers have a white kind of trim line around them. I've cut that off of this piece. So all I need to do is lay it down on the center of the table. Decoupage is actually super easy on a giant flat surface like this. I like to start from the middle so that I can apply more clear coat on top of the piece and then push it out. By pushing it out from the middle, I'm able to remove any wrinkles and really keep that paper as flat as possible. Depending on the thickness of your paper, some decoupage paper is like a tissue and it's quite thin and you can't really manipulate it or move it very much. This is on a rice paper, so it's a little bit thicker. I find it a bit easier to work with, especially if you're a beginner uh, for decoupage paper. So keep applying your clear coat until you cover the entire surface of what you're working on, moving those wrinkles out. You could also use a small tool called a brayer. It's like a small handled tool with a wheel on it. That's easy to push it out as well. I'm going to go right over top of the cracks of this table where the drop leaf comes down because then when it actually does get dry, all I need to do is cut that piece with a sharp knife and you won't even be able to tell. You can start to see now why I used a lighter color of paint with the buttercream underneath the paper. It just provides almost like a really even base for your paper to sit on. Say this table was painted in black, it would be a lot harder to see this image. So starting with like a nice, nice light background is always a good thing when you're working the paper onto your painted surface. Once you're satisfied with the amount of wrinkles that are left or any air bubbles to be pushed out, you just need to wait for this to dry. And once it's dry, you can easily cut down and use some sandpaper to kind of scrape off any excess around the edges. 
So since I want the paper to be the star of this of this show on this little table, I'm going to use my terra clay paint and I'm going to use a bunch of different terra clay paint colors. A lot of neutrals to kind of really blend in and make the table painting disappear if that makes sense and make the paper the star of the show. Hair clay paint is always my favorite paint to use when I want to add a little texture or make my piece look a little bit more grungy. So you'll see me here painting the rest of the table into the paper. All this is going to do is you're just going to require a couple different colors of paint that you find within the decoupage paper, using that paint to stipple it in, creating texture with the terra and making the seam of the paper edge totally disappear. Another little handy trick for decoupage paper and painting in is to add a stencil. You can see on the edges of the table, I added in the Leaf Me Alone stencil from the Bells and Whistles line with the same colors of paint, just kind of stippled on to really disguise those edges and make the paper blend in. I sealed the entire table in Terra Seal in matte and then came in with some waxes to add some aging to the piece. And now this cutie little table is completely done. Adding the wax to add that little bit of grunge, a touch of pistachio terra clay paint around the edges, and I absolutely love it. Look how beautiful that paper blends in with terra clay paint. Sometimes you just have the most perfect piece of furniture from the most perfect piece of decoupage paper. These two go together so well, and I'm totally impressed with this project. What do you think? Have I convinced you to try a little decoupage paper or decoupage paper? However you want to say it, it adds a perfect touch to any piece of furniture.